Strong. Yeah, strong. One of my favorite NES games ever is Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. It perfectly follows the old-school Nintendo formula of super basic, easy-to-learn gameplay and jazzing it up with a ton of charm, wacky characters, and great music. Of course, many NES classics were made that much better on the Super Nintendo, so how does Super Punch-Out measure up? First of all, Super Punch-Out is much closer to its original arcade incarnation than it is to Mike Tyson's Punch-Out on NES, so it really doesn't look or sound much like a sequel at all. There's only one round instead of three, and the clock runs in real time. No timeouts or pauses at all, so that robs the opportunity for funny dialogue from Doc, who doesn't appear in the game at all. Bummer. There's no decisions either, you have to score a knockout. I think that's an improvement. It makes the results more cut and dried, instead of the computer screwing you out of a victory by decision after you knock down your opponent three times and you were only knocked down once. Man, I freaking hated that about Punch-Out. Anyway, this game has a couple extra features, like for example, the momentum meter, which fluctuates as you land punches and as you get hit. When it fills up, you can launch haymakers and uppercuts that do serious damage. There's six returning characters, three from the original game, Bald Bull, Mr. Sandman, and the champion, Super Macho Man. And there's three coming back from the Super Punch-Out arcade game, Bear Hugger, Piston Hurricane, and Dragon Chan. That's in addition to 10 new characters in which there's a wide spectrum of personalities. Bob Charlie, is this the inspiration for Kofi Kingston? Anyway, there's lots of recycling of patterns, and quite a bit of palette swaps too, which is disappointing. The last two fighters are the exact same guy, come on! Super Punch-Out is much harder than the original, but that shouldn't be surprising. The game is predicated on pattern recognition, and of course there's an inherent limit on patterns you can have on an NES game. The fighting styles and patterns on Super Punch-Out are much more complex, so if you want to get good at this game, you gotta put in the time. If you do, you're rewarded with unlocking the special circuit, so that's pretty cool. I have to mention the graphics here are freaking great. This is some top-notch pixel art. The game is memorable looking, the kind where you take one half-second glance at the screen and you immediately know the game is Super Punch-Out. The special effects are well done too, like the blindness effect versus mass muscle. Although I have to mention, your character looks like an anime Jim McMahon. What's with that? Anyway, I think Super Punch-Out is a very good game, easily the best boxing game on the Super Nintendo, but the characters just aren't as memorable this time around. The oversized personalities are what really make a game like this fun, in my opinion. As it is, Super Punch-Out is still technically solid, and objectively it's gotta be a top 40 or maybe even a top 30 Super Nintendo game, but it lacks the personality that made its predecessor so much fun. 